In this video, we are going to learn how to do a memory dump for all the 49 processes, the 5 process groups and the 10 knowledge areas. So here I am speaking because I am explaining. In the exam, do not speak, do not make noise. If you do that, your exam may be terminated, primarily if you are using online proctored exam. If you are using traditional exam, here also whiteboard will be available and you can write down on the whiteboard if you want. But if you are using for online proctored exam, these are the techniques I am going to teach you how to do that. So we have 5 process groups, for that we will have 5 vertical lines. We have 10 knowledge areas, for that we will have 10 horizontal lines. So first I am going to draw the 10 horizontal lines. So that I am going to select the line here on the whiteboard. So first is our process groups. Then we have integration management. Then we have scope management. Then we have schedule. We have cost and we have quality. So try to have quality in the first view. Then next to that I am going to do plan, pan on it. That is select the pan icon and drag it downward. So tip quality in your view. After quality you have keep it in your view because you will not see the horizontal line which is quality ending. After quality you have resources. After resources you have communications. Then you have risk. Then you have procurement and below procurement will have stakeholders again pan and go to the top so here is our line I am going to do the vertical lines for the process groups this side first one is knowledge area then we have is initiating after that we will have planning after that we have executing then we have monitoring and controlling and left right hand side will be closing next I am going to write down the process groups I am selecting A which is for text so one is initiating next to that is planning next to that we have is executing I'm double clicking so double click again MC and double click again closing then I'm going to write down again selected the highlighted the text area is highlighted so integration then scope simply scope then you have schedule then we have cost after cost we have quality then again I'm going to select pan but I have not completed the line so I am going to complete the line so I will complete the line quality after quality all the lines are completed vertically again I selected the line and completed the line after quality we have resources then we have communications then double click again then say risk and you say here proc for procurement for stakeholders simply write sh pan again go to that top so first one is again select A and here we will have develop PC pan again and go to the down this is how you would have remembered so I am going to write exactly similar way you can write also horizontally if you want but this is how you would have practiced so I am going to do that way only so identify stakeholders again I will go to pan select A then we have develop PMP then select A is already selected so here it will be plan simply plan scope MGMT I am shortening it because your time is less so to write it down then collect requirements then you have define scope so then we have create WBS you can write create so size is a bit more so I selected all I do, did a control A by selecting all and I am putting 14 the size reduced to 14 then scope management again we have plan or you can see plan schedule management SCH MGMT then you have define activities then you have uh, sequence activities then you have estimate activity duration then you have develop schedule so again it is a size is a bit more so I'm going to reduce it further to 12 so again I'm going to write plan cost MGMT then you have estimate cost after that we have determined budget so the size I can drag it and put it here so that it places properly next to that I have quality so in quality we have plan qual MGMT now I am going to pan it again because I have to drag it down so select again A and you have plan rest MGMT resource management then you have estimate resources so you can reduce it but it is fitting in I am not going to reduce it next is plan simply comms MGMT then we have again pan it select A plan 
risk MGMT. Then you have identify risk. Then you have perform QLRA, perform QTRA, then plan risk responses. I'm shortening the words, shortening the font size. And next to that, we have procurement. So in procurement, I'll have plan proc MGMT. Then we have plan stakeholder engagement. Sometime I'm writing plan, sometime PL. So do not worry too much about it. Then again, pan and go to the top. So here we have executing. We have two processes. So I'm going to draw a line. Monitoring and controlling, two processes, another line. Scope management, two processes, another line. Now time to fill up again. So here simply write DMPW, then simply write MPK, manage project knowledge, direct and manage project work. Nothing in scope, nothing in schedule, nothing in cost, and we have quality management. So in quality management, A is already selected. So here you say manage quality. Simply qual, size is bigger. So I'm going to make it 14 and drag it this way. So I'm done. Again, I'll pan it and move below. So again select A. So in resource management we have three processes, uh, acquire resources, then dev team and manage team. So I'm, I might want to reduce it to 14 fitting in. Then we have here MG manage communications. Then we have implement IMPL risk response. I'm just putting enter so the size fits in. Then here we have conduct proc. Then we, in plan, then we have here plan stakeholder engagement. Then we have manage stakeholder engagement. So shorten it as, as much as you can so that you save your time. So again, you have to pan and go to the top. So now we have again MCPW. So this is more monitor and control project work. Then the pick process. Then below that we have validate scope and below that we have control scope. Below that I'm just putting CTR for control, control SCS schedule. Then we have control cost. Then we have control quality. I'm reducing the size so, so that it fits in control quality. Then again pan. You may not reduce the size if you can proceed and understand on your own. I'm just making it visible and understandable. So here you have again A will have control resources. Then here it is monitor communications. So monitor communication. Then here it is monitor risks. Again pan. Scroll down and we have here conduct procurement. So CTR or CTRL control procurement and here it is monitor stakeholder press enter ng and ENGG. n is capital here doesn't matter so just complete it that is the main idea isn't it again pan and finally we have the last process of close close enter phase so here it is now we are done so this is what i did and i did it i believe in eight minutes and i'm speaking and explaining you can do it faster because you won't be speaking and explaining you'll be just writing it down so first time you do it it will take you around 15 17 minutes second time you do it it will take you around 10 to 12 minutes final time you do it you will be able to do it in seven minutes i'm speaking and doing and that is why it is taking nearly eight minutes plus for you it will be definitely less two to three minutes but you have to do it practice three four times and when you do that it will fall into seven minutes so seven minutes here five minutes for your dumping of your formula which is explained next you can together go for it and uh, you can decide so whether to pan so pan selection whether you are going for left to right like here you can move after you have done it you can write down the formulas here in this part of the whiteboard or you have a strategy to go vertically so if you go vertically you can write down the formula just below the whiteboard dumping that you have done but whatever strategy you are following stick to it do not change your strategy because you will again confuse and always remember do not use clear button if you do a clear anytime it will wipe off everything you have written 
so never use this button this is a danger button for you never ever use it so this is how you write down all the 49 processes and I just explained to you how you are going to do it on the whiteboard it took me some more minutes because I am speaking again repeating when you practice three four times you will be able to do it in seven minutes or six minutes you will be able to do it